HP Data Protector is the industry's first unified meaning-based data protection solution that utilizes an intelligent data management approach to seamlessly protect and harness data based on its meaning from edge to the data center and across premise, hybrid, and cloud environments. With more than 44,000 customers worldwide and nearly half of the global 500, they rely on HP Data Protector software to protect their critical applications and data. From this single pane of glass, HP Data Protector allows to control both your on-premise backup and recovery and your off-site cloud-based data protection needs. With our one-touch setup for cloud-based data protection, we can protect data in the world's largest and most secure private cloud, providing enterprise class edge to cloud protection while reducing CapEx and OpEx. In this demo, we're going to be exploring Data Protector 7's ability to extend backup to the cloud. Before we get started, first we need to enable the HP Data Protector environment to communicate with the HP Cloud Backup Service. This involves defining some parameters first. This is the required security between the DP console and our cloud-based data center. This exciting new feature extends HP's best-of-class on-premise data protection solution to a highly scalable, globally dispersed data protection cloud service. Now let's configure a policy to remotely protect a Windows server. We do this by first selecting the backup in the drop-down and then simply right-clicking to add a backup. This prompts us to define a policy. Next we need to select the backup type or target which will be the Live Vault backup service. Incidentally, Live Vault is Autonomy's flagship cloud-based data protection service for servers. Then we must define the data in which we'd like to protect on this server. As we browse our file system, let's select documents and settings. Perhaps this relates to critical data that we'd like to protect in our remote data center. Let's give this policy a description as a reference. For instance, we could have hundreds of policies in effect. Note that we can optionally choose to disable this policy in the event that the policy is no longer needed. We'll choose to keep this policy enabled and hit Next to continue. Lastly, let's save this backup policy. Uh, we'll call it uh, Backup into the Cloud. Now that we've completed that step, let's now take a look at the restore process. Right from within the DP console, we can not only manage our remote backups to the cloud, but also our restores. We simply select the restore in the drop-down to start the process. This leads us to the restore interface within our integrated cloud backup inside DP console. Optionally, we could have launched a standalone supported web browser as well, but let's stay right here within the console. Also note that this connection to the cloud-based data center is completely 100% secure. All management communications are encrypted from the data protector console all the way to the web-based front-end. From this easy-to-use web-based management UI, this allows backup admins to manage their restores literally from anywhere, allowing them to initiate self-service restores for the data for both physical and virtual Windows servers. Each protected host has a summary with the latest status, reporting backup activity, and health-related statistics. Each protected server's backup data is sent encrypted in transit from a network perspective and stored in a secure format using AES 256-bit encryption. In fact, Autonomy's cloud has the highest levels of both physical and logical security available in market. By selecting the Restore tab, this allows us to create new restore requests to initiate recovery of our protected data. As a side, all protected data is mirrored across multiple data center locations and resides in a secure, multi-tenant, scalable data protection cloud service. After selecting our restore, the system prompts us to either restore from the internet or via media restore device. This is a device that the cloud service provider has configured and shipped locally to the physical data center location where your servers may reside. But let's select the default here and proceed. As we proceed with our restore request, we can create a new one or simply browse a pre-existing policy filter, which specifies data previously backed up to the cloud. We're presented with a navigation that allows us to select the data in question and restore based on our latest version or previous versions in time. Let's select the Documents and Settings folder that we previously backed up. 
Before we end our restore request and initiate our recovery, we can see a summary with full detail of the activity, which is logged and provides an audit trail for future backup and related reporting. Once this final step has been completed, the backup admin can easily leverage this restore data to meet their business demand or request. This new and exciting feature brings the power and simplicity of cloud to the traditional data center. HP Data Protector's cloud backup feature leverages Autonomy's 14 global data center locations with over 50 petabytes under management today worldwide and growing. Thank you for taking the time today to view our demo of HP Data Protector's integrated cloud backup. For more information about this feature and HP Data Protector 7, please go to imhub.autonomy.com.